Looking for a fun stop on your visit to Nanaimo? Today I'm featuring Colliery Dam Park. Hi, and thanks for stopping by my channel. My name is Rita, and I'm a Nanaimo-based realtor showing people how much fun life can be on Vancouver Island. Located in the Chase River neighborhood or Harewood, depending on who you ask, Colliery Dam Park is located at 635 Wake Saya Avenue and just a short distance from Vancouver Island University. The dam was built between 1910 and 1911 and serves as a reminder of just how much the coal mining industry played a part in the early settlement of Nanaimo. The dam was built by the Western Fuel Company to supply water for coal washing and for use by miners and their mules and horses. It also became a source of water for the neighborhood of South Harewood, as residents were allowed to use the water for domestic purposes. It's now located in a municipal park and is a leisure destination for locals and tourists alike for swimming, hiking, and fishing. Colliery Dam is a popular spot for freshwater swimming in Nanaimo. Just keep in mind that it is not patrolled by a lifeguard. Nearby, there are picnic tables and public washrooms to use. The lake is also used for fishing, as I mentioned, so just be mindful of anyone that you do see fishing, both to allow them to enjoy their activities and to prevent yourself from getting tagged by a sharp hook. Several times a year, the Freshwater Fisheries Society stocks the man-made lakes with catchable size rainbow trout from the nearby hatchery in Duncan. The best time to fish is early spring and late summer, when the water is cooler and the swimmer don't disturb the fishing. On Mother's Day this year, which is May 14th, there'll be a live Bucket Brigade trout release event at the Lower Lake. The trout will be released at 12 p.m., but there'll be live music and interactive exhibits between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. And if you're planning on fishing during the event, Good news, you will not need a fishing license. On a side note, if you're interested in fishing events, I'd highly recommend that you follow the Vancouver Island Fishing for Fun Society. The founder, Mike Lawrence, has made it a mission to provide year-round fishing opportunities with fishing release days and derbies throughout the area. Unlike Westwood Lake, Colliery Dam Park does not have on-site camping, with an exception. I covered this in my Five Things I Wish I Knew Before Moving to Nanaimo video, which is the bylaw that people experiencing homelessness may camp in public parks overnight. Colliery Dam Park was one of the parks that eased restrictions back in 2019, stating that Colliery Dam, as well as Beban and Bowen Park, are broader parks that can balance the rights of all members of the community for usage and access. I was super pleased to find a Facebook group called We Heart Our Colliery Dams, with members taking a collective approach at keeping the park safe and enjoyable for our community. If you're looking for an easier hike, check out the network of trails here. Colliery Dam Loop is 2.25 kilometers with partially paved trails, which take just under an hour to complete. So it's great for the family. And speaking of fun with the family, check out Granny Falls while hiking here. I'll be doing an entire video on Nanaimo Waterfall soon, which I'm very excited about. Part of the park includes off-leash dog trails, which are located at the upper lake or middle colliery dam. If you haven't figured it out by now, this is something I immediately had to check out with my two dogs, Tiki and Scout. So enjoy! I did want to get to the off-leash area soon. Um, when I was doing my research for this video, I saw that the off-leash part is open only from 6 a.m. till 10 a.m. and then uh, 4 p.m. until dusk. So uh, it was about 8.30 when I realized that, so we rushed over here and just about to give them a nice little walk off leash, which is their preferred method of exercise. Well, let's go see. So here is the bridge. We're just going to cross this and see where it takes us. Okay, so I see here there's actually a parking lot uh, for the off-leash area. So that's probably where I should have parked. I will clarify where that is exactly, uh, but that's how it goes sometimes. So far, I'd say if your dog loves running around in the woods, 
having access to water, jumping over tree stumps and roots and things like that, this is a great place to take them. Um, I'd watch a little bit. One of my dogs is smaller and there's a little bit of like some steep areas, but she's pretty agile, so she's okay. But <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. dogs out there they are kind of took off down there so yeah let's just go have a little check and see what it's like down there it's so beautiful okay so we just finished the dog loop that couldn't have taken more than 20 minutes, I don't think. And we're back at the parking lot that I should have parked at, but um, it's fine because we're gonna go check out the other part of Colliery Dam.